So number one is the fact that despite the size of this piano and all the buttons on there, it's still relatively portable. Uh, one person can lift it up, it's probably easier with two people, but many people put these pianos upstairs, put them in the man cave or the office or the shed or whatever. Compared to traditional pianos, this one is actually very portable. Number two is that despite this looking rather like a uh, cockpit of a spaceship, all the buttons on here and what have you, it's actually first and foremost a tremendously good piano. You switch it on and it just resets to being a piano every time. So if you just want to play this machine like a piano, that's all you do. Turn it on and you just get playing. It's that simple. Number three is that the keys actually feel just like those on a traditional piano. They're what we call weighted keys in uh, the digital piano world, and they are highly authentic. Yamaha are the best in the world at making the most authentic digital piano keys. And what does that mean? Well, it means it feels like playing a traditional piano, but if you're learning, the good thing is you're gonna be learning the correct muscle memory in your fingers, as you progress through the grades, as your standard goes up and up. Number four is that it has a touch screen control, as you can see just here. Uh, it's a little bit like having an iPad built into the front of the piano. Everything I do on here is controlled by touching the screen. I can change the sounds I'm using. Um, I can navigate between the different categories and what have you. Every operation on here is controlled by using this very good touch screen system. It's its own operating system. But yeah, you use an iPad, use iPhone, smart devices, your digital piano now has that built into it too. Number five is good news in that this piano will never go out of tune. Digital pianos just do not go out of tune. Um, so no maintenance required on it. You're not gonna have to get a piano tuner to come around every six months. You also don't need to keep it in a temperature regulated environment because there's no iron frame in there. There's nothing, no strings to go out of tune. Number six is that you're not actually limited to just a piano sound. Not only are there loads of different piano sounds on here, but there's also different sounds too. Let me show you. Um, on this screen here, this shows you all the different types of pianos and I've got the concert grand piano that you've heard, but I've also got things like guitars. Listen to this. I might want to play a orchestral collection, something like the Berlin Symphony Orchestra. Or there's things like choirs as well. And listen to this. and hundreds of different sounds built into it. So it's far more than just a piano. So number seven is, it's actually got a karaoke machine built into it as well. You can plug a microphone into it and sing and your voice will come out of the speakers. There's also vocal effects as well, like echo and harmonies and what have you. But the karaoke machine part of it is really good as well because it's got a number of songs built into it. Come and have a look at this. Uh, here's a take that one and it shows you the lyrics on the screen to sing along with. Plus, you can actually output the piano into a big television screen or a monitor or anything like that and have a great big karaoke party. That's what it looks like. You'll see this will change color now.
There you go. Now, I know you were singing along to that. <laughs> so number eight is that it's actually got a professional quality 16 track recording studio built into it. And combined with all of those different sounds that you've got and the backing tracks as well, you've got frankly one heck of a recording studio built in here. Just have a quick look here on the screen just for illustration purposes. If I open up the recording studio, here we've got 16 tracks and I can mix them all down, mix the levels of them, make recordings, take the recordings off via a USB stick to share them online or wherever. But the quality of the voices, as you heard me demonstrating a few there, you've got just about everything you'd need. Drum loops, different sort of dynamic effects for the drums as well. You can just record professional quality things on this piano. Number nine is that you can wear headphones with this piano. So it's, this basically means that you can practice in silence. It's quite a nice experience wearing headphones and playing these pianos, having the sound sort of directly go into your ears. But there are two headphone inputs as well. So you can actually practice um, with two people playing if a piano teacher wants to play that way, or indeed if you want to play duets. But to anybody else listening, if the player is wearing headphones, all you hear is this. So there's no sound whatsoever. And of course, you can't do that on a traditional piano. It's just a really practical function that we get with these types of pianos. And finally, number 10 is that there is a fantastic companion app, which is free for this digital piano called Yamaha Smart Pianist. And I've got some other videos on exactly what it does, but let me tell you, it's brilliant because you can play your own music collection through the speakers of this piano. But not only that, it'll actually show you some rudimentary sheet music for it as well. And you can get this, this panel above the keys will actually light up and show you which keys to play to play your favorite songs. So that's Yamaha Smart Pianist. Have a look at it with our other videos because it's free and it's excellent for this piano.